so here we have seen two commands one for searching data in the one file and another is for search data into the more than one file i'm going to show you these two commands on a big file so uh, i have a file with the name res1.txt so first of all i'll show you content of this file i'm just running like get res1.txt and in this file i have a lot of data so this is the file which is started started from here and this is all the data which we are having in this file so now i want to find out i want to search a text update in this complete file so i want to search like grab and my text is update the text you, which you want to search you can either write directly or you can write it into double quotes and then file name so my file name was res1.txt so here we are getting only two places in the file where we are getting this update keyword so these are the two lines where we are getting so here we have seen we can search data in one file or we can search data in more than one file now i'm coming i'm clearing the screen and I'm moving to third command in which we are going to search data in all the files of the current directory so we have options like I want to search data like grep and I want to search this text thousand in all the files all the text file of the current directory so I'm writing star dot txt in the current directory search in all the files with the extension txt and i want to search this thousand text i'm running it so here we are getting this thousand in file one file two as well as in file three so we are getting this text in all the three files that we are having in the same way we can use like grep whatever the text you want to search for so like i want to search 20,000 and star dot star star dot star means before I was searching in all the files with the extension dot txt but now I'm searching in all the files with any name and any extension I'm just running it so here we are getting this text only the two file one is file one and other is file two so here we have seen what is the use of the grep command it is used to search data in one or more files and also if we talk about what do you mean by the grep so grep stand for global regular expression parser and we have seen three commands search data into one file search data into more than one file and search data into all the files of the current directory that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video Welcome to the testing world. Hope you are enjoying our Unix course. Here I want to just introduce my new courses that we have uploaded on Udemy. As you are going to the Unix, we have two more courses for Unix commands, Unix step by step Unix part two, in which we are mainly covering file operations. And the third Unix video we are having is for memory and a network commands if you like our videos and want to go on the next videos you can contact us for discounted coupons apart from it we have many other courses like advanced unique courses in which we are going to cover awk scd vim and many other commands and we have the two parts of it part one and part two also we have a course for the awk commands awk utility is used to process data in unix you can also choose our shell scripting course we are going to launch few new courses one is unix linux practice set so once you go all these courses you will have a decent understanding of 
Unix, Linux, and Shell scripting. Here we have a lot of practice exercise which you can follow to check your knowledge. So we have one practice exercise for the Unix and Linux and one for the Shell scripting. For purchasing our video courses with lifetime access at the discounted price, you can call us 8743-913121. You can WhatsApp us on the same number as well. You can mail us testingwordindia at the red